how to use the new Pixelcade companion. And first of all, a big shout out to Scott who coded this. Um, can't thank him enough for that. I think you guys are really gonna like this. So the first thing you need to do is paste in the URL or the host name of your Pixelcade. Um, it's always gonna be like this, Pixelcade DX, DX and then dash. And then this eight digit number is gonna be unique to your Pixelcade. So you're gonna to wanna to look that up on what yours is. You can find that from the iOS app, uh, the Pixelcade LCD finder pairing utility, or you can also just look on your router. It'll show up on your router. So once you have that, go ahead and put in your unique eight digit ID, colon 8080. And you can do this from any web browser and you can also do this from your phone, which is really cool. And so I'm just gonna copy this because we'll need this in the next step as well. So go ahead and click add new device and then paste in that same name from earlier. We don't want the HTTP part here though. So it's gonna look just like that. And you know, slash, and then just hit okay. Okay, it'll find it. And then just click anywhere. And now you can just browse marquees. Okay, so it's gonna find all the marquees that are there. So for example, if I click on Atari 2600, okay, so you'll see a nice little thumbnail. You could just click on one and then that will then update Pixelcade automatically. So um, lots is, you know, it's a really great way to browse marquees. You can see we've got quite a few here just click on another one. Let's see, let's click on name, for example. Okay, so again, you just click on the marquee. Um, as you scroll down, it will load more marquees as you scroll. So that saves a bit of time there. And just, if you have one you like, just click on it. So that's how to browse marquees. You can also access Pixelcade settings from here. So let's go to the home, oops. Okay, device settings, that's what I was trying to find. And so you can change the name. Um, some people don't like the video marquees, they just like the still image marquees. So if, if you're in that boat, just go like that. I'll change it back. Um, some people don't like text, so that is to disable scrolling text. You can change the font if you like and the font color. So those are some settings you can do from there. And then you can also reboot and shut down safely your Pixelcade LCD um, from here as well. So just a few of the settings that you can do um, with Pixelcade Companion. All right, so here's how to add the Pixelcade Companion on your iPhone. So what you wanna do is just open up Safari, go ahead and type in the address. Okay, so this is gonna be pixel KDX dash and then an eight digit number, that eight digit number is gonna be unique to your pixel code, colon 8080. Okay, now I already have it set up, but in case you didn't, it might look like this. So just go ahead and add it. And let's paste in that same name. We don't want the colon 8080 on this one and just hit okay. And then I can click somewhere else. And now I can browse marquees. So let's say, for example, I wanna look at Daphne marquees. Get a nice little thumbnail. You can just tap on it and that will then display it on Pixelcade. You can also access the settings from here. So if I go to device settings, these are some settings you can change. And then I can also do a safe shutdown and a safe reboot from here as well. Now, if you wanna add this to your, uh, as an icon on your iPhone, just go down here, hit the share button, go down here, hit add to home screen. And that's just gonna add little home screen icon, so now you can just go straight there. Okay, so browse marquees, 